Hi, I'm Dr. Monica Karapulski. I'm a board certified dermatologist. And with summer coming up, I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about sun protection. With all of us planning to go on fabulous trips, enjoy the sun, go to the beach, play sports, it's so important to also remember that there are little things we can do to protect our skin so that we can live a long, safe and healthy life. One thing we can do, tip number one, is to wear sunblock every day. Even if you are just going out to get the mail and coming back, you're still going in the sun. One thing I like to do is after I wash my face in the morning, I put sunblock on before I even leave my house. Nobody is going to work or school or camp through an underground tunnel, so everybody needs to wear sunblock. Another thing is reapply every two hours. We're finding that even the best sunblocks on the market do not protect you for more than two hours. So we all get this false sense of security. We think I put this SPF 60 on, this SPF 100 on this morning, I'm cool all day. Not true. Reapply every two hours. You can bring a little bottle in your purse, in your backpack, in your bag. Just put it on, spray it on, whatever you need to do. Another thing, sun protective clothing. So even great sunblocks, we need to wear them, uh, are fabulous. We can't just go out and do sports without a hat on. There are certain things like hiking, um, running outside where we're sweating. No sunblock is 100% waterproof. So. You need to wear sunblock and a hat. There are all kinds of cute, fashionable hats out there. Find one or two you love and just keep one in your car, keep one in your golf bag, keep them everywhere. Another tip, um, traveling. I don't think many people realize that when you're on an airplane with the altitude, you actually get 30 times the amount of UV exposure that you get when you're on the ground. I am that annoying person on the plane that closes the window and everyone in my aisle hates me, but I'm actually protecting all of us. So think about little things like that. Uh, another rule of thumb is wear your sunblock even when you're on the airplane, because you are getting a lot of ultraviolet A through that sun, through the window. Also with summer coming up, a lot of us girls like to have pretty looking nails. We get gel nails, acrylic nails, things like that for manicures. Unfortunately, all of the lights that they use to cure the stuff that they're putting on our nails is harmful to our skin and can eventually lead to skin cancer, sunspots, aging looking hands. People will tell you that it's okay, it's actually not. There is nothing out there that they can cure it with that is safe for your hands. So something that you can do, and this is what I do, I would take a pair of gloves and you basically just take your scissors, cut the little tips of the fingers off of each finger on the glove and then put it on like this and get your nails done, put it under the, the lamp, your hand is protected, your hands can stay looking young indefinitely. Another sun safety tip is the importance of sunglasses. Not only are they fashionable, but they are also functional. We can get melanoma on the backs of our eyes, on our retinas. So, not only that, but you can also get skin cancer on your eyelids. I've had it. I had a lot of this eyelid removed and had to have it reconstructed. No bueno, not fun. Wear your sunglasses every day when you're outside. Another tip I'd like to add is the importance of shade. So we can still go out with our friends, go to lunch, sit out in the sun. Just find an umbrella to sit under. It's really easy and it's a good way to further protect our sun so that it lasts for a lifetime. Now that we've covered essential summer skincare tips like wearing your sunblock every single day, reapplying it every two hours, the importance of sun protective clothing like hats, and also of uh, behavioral things you can do like closing the window when you're on an airplane, one last thing I wanted to talk to you about is driving. So it, it is more prevalent during the summer, but year round, we get quite a bit of sun while we are driving to work, to school, to practice. All these places, if sun exposure, UV is cumulative. It's coming in through the windows and it's why people in the US have skin cancers on the left side of their face a lot more than on the right side because that's the side of the window that the sun's coming in. In Europe, it's the exact opposite. They have more skin cancers on the right side of their face because they drive on that side. 
Something you can do to correct this would be to get your car windows tinted. They've come out with great technology now where it doesn't actually have to be a dark tint that we all see from the outside. It's clear, but it still protects against UV. Uh, you can also wear a hat while you're driving. I've seen people wearing gloves while they're driving, and then definitely sunblock. To summarize, with summer coming up and all of us excited to get outside and enjoy the sun and enjoy our friends, things we can do to protect ourselves are wear sunblock every day, no matter what the weather is, reapply it every two hours, wear sun protective clothing like hats, do behavioral things like close the window when we're on an airplane, uh, wear a hat when we're driving, have our car windows tinted, and wear gloves when we go and get our fancy manicures. I hope these tips help you. Have a wonderful summer and thanks so much for watching.